Okay, so fraud law review, <clears throat> trying to spread the um, the bad behaviors amongst whatever states I see that they publish them in. And as you know, I get it from the Office of Attorney, uh, Office of Inspector General reporting on the crimes of a federal nature. Um, the last few weeks, it concerned non-American citizens defrauding the American social security system or other government public funds such as code relief funds. Um, and I, I picked those, not that there's not many to pick from, but only because we're constantly always pointing out an American who does this. So I thought I'd, you know, have it a little more um, reflective. Anyway, so today, even though this one doesn't give a lot of details, I figured it's my own state. So I'm going to share it. Western District of Pennsylvania. Um, I'm going to say it wrong, but it's a uh, Punxsutawney. And I think that's where Gus, I think that's where Gus the, the groundhog comes from every February 2nd. So we just saw him recently on the news. I think um, his name is Gus, I think. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to say this lady's name because she's only been indicted, not co uh, convicted. And as you know, I'm a big supporter of innocent until proven guilty. And so is the um, OIG, because at the bottom of the report, they do say an indictment is an accusation. A defendant is presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty. So kudos to them for always saying that at the end when the person has not been convicted um, or pled guilty, which then leads to a conviction. Okay, so they don't go into any details, and I'm kind of curious. Um, this senior 65 year old lady is the sole defendant and she was pulling some sort of scheme from 2016 to 2022 where she quote unquote knowingly intentionally and unlawfully embezzle steal purloin and convert to her own use and a thing of value of the united states or a department of agency thereof why do they have to say it like that? It's so ridiculous. Um, but anyway, it was um, over $90,000 in Social Security income benefits payments to which she was not entitled. You know, they say Social Security income benefits, benefit payments. I would tend to think that that would be Social Security disability or retirement and I know everyone gets all hung up on the acronyms SSI, SSD, SSR. But if it was SSI, why wouldn't it be saying supplemental security income? Because remember, SSI is not Social Security. And this three-word phrase they decided to use does say Social Security. So it, it cannot be SSI because SSI is not Social Security. It's the federal welfare program that is handled by the Social Security Administration. Um, but anyway, the point I was going to get to here, since they don't give us any of the meat and details, um, is that there is a maximum total sentence of 10 years in prison for apparently what she's charged with and a fine of quarter of a million dollars or both. So, you know, it's funny when they say a maximum total sentence of 10 years in prison. Does that mean that she doesn't have to have any prison time? And what do you think? Do you think her age should make a difference? When she started doing this, she was, well, what she's indicted for having done. She could have been doing it before. Usually people don't start to become criminals in their late 50s, I wouldn't think. Um, usually it's a habit and they just finally get caught. 2016 to now, that would be like seven, eight years ago. Oh, gee, I think maybe she was my age <laughs> when she started. So... Does her age, do you think that should have an effect on her prison sentence? Or do you think it shouldn't have any effect on it? Just curious. I think she should have to go. Um, should she go 10 years? Not necessarily. But, um, you know, and the, the fine, where's she going to pay the fine? Will they garnish her own Social Security? That might be something to think about. I'm sure they would you know, some some small amount, right? Uh, when she uh, ends up receiving, it. if she goes to jail, I don't think she's going to be receiving it at all while she's in jail. So, because that's one of those exceptions to when you can collect. All right, that's it. Pennsylvania, we're as dirty as everybody else. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.